What is going on guys? So I'm going to answer one of the most popular questions that I get on this YouTube channel and that is what shorts and shoes should I wear or what shorts and shoes do I wear and what shorts and shoes should you wear? So let's get to that question right now. All right, so the other day I was scrolling through my comments and I actually haven't replied to this comment. And this is from Alex Abreza. He says, what kind of running shorts and shoes do you wear or suggest? So I'm assuming uh, that you're probably a bigger guy like me. I am 5'11", 250 pounds. I haven't stepped on the scale. I probably should, but I'm probably pretty sure I'm still 250 pounds. I haven't lost a bunch of weight. Still haven't been working on my diet too much. But I want to answer this question for you guys. And, you know, personally, I think that you should definitely try out a lot of different pair of shorts, like shorts and shoes. All of that is very dependent on you and your body type, your body architecture, your foot architecture for sure. So, you know, what works for me may not work for you. And I've worn a ton of different shorts since the beginning of my running journey. And, you know, I started off basically with probably just, you know, boxers and shorts and you know i remember the first time i ever shaped and shaping sucks man i was like what is that burning sensation in between my thighs it stings it hurts and i looked down and man there was like blood in between there i was shaping so bad i had to do that walk that little waddle you guys know if you guys ever experienced that and it sucks man and then that shower afterwards holy moly i was like it, I don't know if this running thing is for me. <laughs> but since then, I've worn a ton of different shorts and I moved on to compression shorts. That was my big thing for a long time. I used to wear compression shorts, but not really compression shorts because I wasn't comfortable just wearing the compression shorts. So I would wear shorts with a built-in liner inside of it. And you know, that works too. But after a while, after you start wearing those shorts, holes start to form in between those layers and those shorts are rendered useless because after you have those holes, that forms more friction in between your thighs and that friction is gonna cause you pain and cause more shaping to the point where it's not even worth it. So what I've moved on to recently for in terms of shorts are shorty shorts. So these are the type of shorts that I wear right here. So these are shorty shorts and I feel, y'all can see me, and I feel like these shorty shorts actually, they cause me not to hold in moisture, you know, all that humidity in your thighs. If I wear long shorts, I feel like it, it like builds up that moisture and that causes a lot of issues. Uh, but for me, the shorty shorts have been working. I used to get a lot of thigh rubbing and I'm still 250 pounds. I have big legs. So my legs are rubbing, but if it is frictionless, then it works. So I moved away from those compression shorts. Now I'm wearing shorty shorts with a liner. So I don't wear any uh, type of boxers or briefs underneath them. I just use the shorts with a liner. I feel like if you have more stuff, like especially if you wore it with some uh, tidy whities or something, man, that's just causing more friction to happen. And I don't, I don't have any issues. I'm a big dude. I, have, I don't have any issues. But if I do shave and it happens very rarely, uh, then I carry some sort of anti-shaving gear with me uh, whenever I go for an ultra marathon for sure, because I don't want to be shaving when that happens. But let's take a look at the shorts that I have. These are the ones that I have right here. You guys can see. It's this brand. This is actually Amazon brand. These are shorts are actually pretty cheap. So these are the shorts right here. This is the shorts. I'll put it, a link to it down below. It is an affiliate link. So if you guys want to buy it, you guys can. But I like shorty shorts. These are like super short, probably uh, five inches long, if not. But they don't have that large like cut in between them. Some of those shorts that they have, uh, they have the high cut on there. So basically you see a lot. These are just... Nice shorty shorts, you can see that on me. It kind of right there, you know. I feel like Scapula has some pockets in them, zippered pockets, and these are fine for me. These are from Amazon. I will share a link to the link that I got these down below. And I also use these shorts from Target. So like I said before, if you find some shorts that you run in and you don't have any shaving issues, buy a bunch of them. Like th this is the same brand uh, I think it's C9 from Target. Let me see if I can see the brand. Oh, it's called All In Motion. So 
these are those shorts. I think they're also like five to six inch shorts, pretty short shorts. So I like these too. These dry really quick. Like whenever I get to a sweaty ultra marathon, whenever I rest and some, there's some airflow, these dry super quick. So these are the all in one from Target. I'll put a link to that too down below if I can find that. And I wear a size large. Uh, sometimes the extra large can get a little bit too big. But yeah, this one is the one that I wear. So, you know, it, it just depends on your anatomy, your body's architecture to figure out what works for you. And once you find a pair of shorts, buy a ton of them. Like I have a bunch of pairs of these. These are the all-in ones. And then I have a bunch of pair of this one. This is the uh, logo of that one. I don't even know what it is, but I will put a link to the Amazon link down below. And it's cheap. These are cheap shorts. I think they're, I don't know, less than 15 bucks because man, some of these shorts nowadays, if you go to other brands, you know, like Nike or even any of the running brands, they could get upwards to 50 bucks. And I'm not all about spending a ton of money on my shorts for sure. So yeah, I will target Amazon. I love those shorts for sure. So let's talk about shoes. Shoes are really important, especially if you're a runner. And if you're a bigger guy, you're probably like, I need a super cushioned shoe. And that's what I did at the beginning of my a running journey, I wore super cushion shoes because that's what was recommended to me uh, by the shoe store. So I ran in them for a long time and you know what? I, I always thought that, especially at the beginning, that you gotta get used to the shoes. Like you gotta go through a little bit of pain in order to break in the shoe. So if you're running in pain, the first couple of runs in those shoes, they may not be for you. I've tried a ton of shoes and you know, I'd, I would love to do shoe reviews for you guys on this channel and I do do some, but to be honest with you, I can't wear a ton of shoes because it's just not comfortable for me to wear those shoes. So it, it would be an unfair review for you. And it would be a waste for me to have a ton of shoes. Like you guys can see the shoes over here. These are some of the shoes that I don't ever wear because they don't work well for me. So in my shoe journey, let's just look at some of the shoes that I have. Right here, these, these are all the shoes that I had now and the ones in the back and this is not even all of them. So you can see these, this pair right here, these are the Saucony endorphins. I have hardly used them because they just hurt my feet. So I don't use these. Uh, I do wear ultras, ultras. They worked well for me for a long time. And uh, I've since moved on to different shoes. I do prefer ultras. I do like the zero drop kind of shoes. I've also worn a lot a uh, Vibram Five Fingers. So Vibram Five Fingers, if y'all seen me before, I love these shoes. Uh, just, just more recently now, I can't wear a lot of minimalist shoes just because uh, it hurts my big toe. Like underneath there, that sesamoiditis, something like that. It, it pains me. Uh, there's these carbon plated shoes right here. And there's the ones, the Nike ones over there. I could wear them for a short distance, but uh, if you want me to run a marathon in these shoes, I will complain the whole time because uh, they hurt my feet. I definitely need a more wider shoe. These are my Vibram Fur Shikis. I wear these still every once in a while. Again, not too much for running, just because I don't want to irritate my toe. Uh, these are some Carson's right here. So, and a bunch of other shoes, Brooks over here. And then this are the Nike Pegasus Trails. So speaking of that, you know, every shoe is not gonna work for you. And the older pair of Pegasus that I had, I love those shoes. And I actually still run in those shoes, but I bought these ones. These are the newer versions of that same shoe and I can't run in them. Like I tried and my feet get that crampy feeling where it's just not comfortable for me to wear those shoes. And then lastly, I have these shoes. These are been my racing shoe for a long time. These are the Newton Distance 10s. I love these shoes, they're racing shoes. They're expensive, they're 160 bucks. Uh, I'm gonna have to probably buy a new pair because these are wearing down a lot. So these are the shoes that I wear and I love the Newton shoes for sure. This is what I prefer to run in, Newtons. Uh, but for you, again, you got to find out what works for you. I, I, can, I wish I could tell you exactly what shoe for you to wear. Even if the store puts you in a cushioned shoe, if it doesn't work for you, it doesn't work for you. Like I tried for years to run in Canvaras and, and after I've switched, I've enjoyed running a lot more especially experimenting with my own pairs of shoes like these Newton Distance 10. So uh, there's a lot of shoes out there. I suggest you go to your local running store and check out what they have over there. They're probably gonna look at you and see uh, your gait, do all that stuff that the shoe stores do and recommend the shoe for you. Uh, but even if they do recommend the shoe, if you're not comfortable in it, like the first week, I suggest you find another shoe, man, because uh, once you do, you stick to it 
and I'm sticking to these right here. These are my Newton Distance Tens. I love them, and that's why I run in. Should you be running in them? I don't know. It's up to you. you gotta try them out for yourself. So uh, yeah, those are kind of non-answers to your questions, but I hope this helped you at least to understand the difficulty of finding a good running shoe or good running shorts or shirts uh, that works for you. Speaking of shirts, I like this Goku Runner shirt for sure. Uh, there are links to it down below. I'm pretty sure there's some pictures down below too. You guys can buy this Goku Runner, you know, running shirt. This is a dry fit shirt. And if you guys want to support the channel, go ahead and buy it down below. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. The moral of the story is experiment and stick with what works for you. Don't try to go out of your comfort zone, especially when you're talking about shorts and shoes. All right guys, leave me a comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.